Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is progressive axial reliefs and how that works with a tap when, when sharpening. And this topic was suggested by one of our viewers, Iron Ore X4R. So before we get into it, I feel I should explain, uh, for those of you who've been hanging around our channel for a while, you've probably noticed that we're pretty good at getting a video out every single week. And you've also probably noticed that uh, we've been letting that slide lately and the video's been coming out a lot slower. And the reason is, uh, I had a heart attack not long ago, and uh, I spent better part of a week in the hospital and had emergency surgery, and it's been a bit of a whirlwind, and uh, I'm feeling lots better now, I'm doing better, and I'm on the mend, uh, super grateful to be alive, and we're just gonna pick up where we left off. So I'd like to say thanks to our local medical establishment. I mean, it was the middle of the night, ambulance rushed me in, took one look at me, and next thing you know, they actually poked a hole in me here, went all the way up through my artery, around my chest, and into the other side of my heart, and did all kinds of stuff to fix me up, and uh, quite grateful to them as well. So what exactly is a progressive axial relief? I guess, uh, in you know, all honesty, that's I made those words up, really, and... Um, I have no formal training at this. As a matter of fact, I don't believe that in my area of the world during my lifetime, there's even been formal training available. So I basically made all this tool and cutter grinding stuff up as I went along, along with a lot of the terminology. So if you don't recognize it, or maybe you know of another name, that's fine. You feel free to put that in the comments and share it with us all. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep using the words that I made up. So first I'd like to discuss the difference between the progressive relief or cammed relief as, as I sometimes call it and angular relief and I've got a little sketch here that kind of shows it. So if you imagine that these are cutting tools and I've drawn in a tooth face it passes through the center line of this tool so essentially that's going to be a zero rake angle on the face of this tooth. Now over here I have a straight line that creates an angle as it passes through the body of this and basically out the other side. And so that's going to be what we're calling an angular relief. And you've heard of primary and secondary clearance angles. Well, if this didn't get you the clearance you needed in the big picture, then you could simply add another angle in here like this and carry that clearance on and that would be a secondary angular relief. Whereas over here, this is our progressive or cammed relief. So again, we have our, our circle, that is the cutting tool. We have a tooth face with a zero degree rake. And here we have our progressive clearance, which just keeps coming in and in and in. And it does form um, an angle actually at the cutting edge, which, which can be calculated and used. So I have some examples of different tools here. I've never really found any rhyme or reason to where there's an angular relief or a cammed relief, but they are more common in some areas. So let's start with this countersink, which has the progressive relief on it. And this is a combination. It's, it's a partial radial relief and it's a partial axial relief. And I have seen countersinks with an angular relief, but in, in my experience, the uh, progressive relief is quite a bit more common on a countersink. I also have a step drill here, which has, um, Again, both a axial uh, progressive relief and a radial progressive relief on each of these steps all the way up. And that seems to be uh, pretty darn common with these step drills. I've got a drill bit here, which used to be a much bigger drill bit. And uh, when I brought it down in size to make the size drill I wanted, uh, there was uh, clearance issues all the way around the back of this thing. So I just put one angular relief after another so that the anywhere along here was going to be smaller in diameter than the land and, and then wouldn't pick up. So they, they can get looking a little goofy, but it doesn't much matter. It's going to work just fine because clearance at the end of the day is clearance. Now, the question specifically was how much, if any, um, progressive axial relief do we put on a tap? Now the manual that came with my cam relieving fixture or my progressive relieving fixture did suggest that there was a small component of axial relief uh, used when grinding taps. And it did not specify exactly why that was, but I have a really good working theory and so I'm gonna sketch that out for you now and explain it as best I can. From what I understand, we want the axial relief to match the pitch 
And now our example here is a three quarter 10 tap. So in one revolution, it's going to advance uh, 0.1 of an inch. And so I've multiplied that by pi, which gives me my circumference of the tap itself. And we know that over the course of this circumference, there's gonna be 0.1 advancement in pitch. So what I've done is I've measured across the teeth here, and I'm getting really close to 0.2 of an inch. And so what I'm gonna do is take my circumference, divide it by 0.2, which is gonna give me a ratio. And then I'm going to take the pitch of 0.1, divide it by my ratio, and that gives me 0 0.0085 inches, and that's going to be the clearance I want to see over the distance that these teeth exist. So what does all that mean? Well, uh, if, if you're the guy actually setting this thing up to grind it, uh, it's a lot easier to demonstrate over at the machine. I've got my height gauge set here. Now that's just to use as a pointer, and what I'm gonna wanna do is rotate my tap uh, from one edge to the other edge of this height gauge. And that's going to represent my 200 thou, which is the width of my teeth. And I know that I want this thing to travel eight thousandths of an inch over that distance. So down here we have my axial travel dial. And as I rotate this from the start of the tooth to the back of the tooth, you'll see we're getting eight thou um, relief on this dial. And so basically, as near as I can tell, the only real purpose of that is to perfectly align the grain of the grind with the pitch of the tap. I fully believe that a radial relief alone would be just fine for sharpening a tap. I think this is sort of a little bit of icing on the cake here. I don't feel it's necessary. Uh, it is a pretty common standard thing, so it certainly can't hurt, but the, the, real, the real thing that's going to make a tap cut is the radial relief, not the axial relief. So we've had a quick discussion on, on the axial progressive relief and the radial progressive relief, and they certainly are, the progressive reliefs are much, much more common on a tap. I've never actually seen a factory ground tap that had an angular relief, but having said that, I can't think of any reason that it wouldn't actually work with an angular relief. There, there might be some, some fact about that that makes it uh, not work quite as well. I think you'd also have a less durable cutting edge by putting an angular relief on here. But uh, at the end of the day, if you have relief and you have rake, you're, you're going to cut. And so I, I think it would work either way. So that pretty much covers it for today's topic of progressive axial and radial reliefs uh, as opposed to angular reliefs. And uh, before we go though, I would like to give a quick shout out to Dave Peterson, who was kind enough to email me manuals for this machine. And so that's really exciting. I, I now have something actually uh, in paper that's going to give me a lot more information about this, its accessories, its setup and its use. So that's super exciting. Thank you, Dave. So I want to thank you all for sticking with us and, uh, and coming and checking out these videos. We do have a lot of exciting videos coming up in the not too distant future. So I'm hoping you'll all come back and join us for some of those. Force Fuck. Fuck. Just start, just get rid of a